Vance offers every variety of holiday excitement. For fun in the snow, it's the French Alps, one of nature's most awe-inspiring sights. Here in the land of perpetual ice and snow, glaciers still cover great surfaces of the earth as they did in the Ice Age long ago. Monarch of mountains, Mount Blanc is the tallest of the alpine peaks. Nearly 16,000 feet high, its white majesty offers both beauty and danger to those who come to brave its sides. The first successful ascent to the summit was made in 1786 by a native of Chamonix. But knowing that someone else has made the grade may not make it any easier when you try it. The mountain climber moves cautiously ahead. Only the skillful and daring can overcome the challenge presented by the face of nature. Perhaps much of the time, he wishes that he had an escalator in his knapsack. Sometimes along the plateaus of the mountains, you get a rest. But the chances are, it won't last too long. At last, for those who do not turn back, there is the singular satisfaction of looking down upon peaks that are only 12,000 feet high. From the mountain region of France, you can go almost anywhere in this land of infinite variety. For fun in the sun, it's the Riviera. In Cannes, even the apartments have that distinctively sunny look. The all-year-round pleasantly warm climate makes this a perennial paradise for those who seek more sun than snow in their diet. It comes as you wish, overdressed or uh, barely dressed. Monaco on the Riviera is the smallest sovereign principality in Europe just over one half of a square mile in total area. This little vessel ferries around Monaco's first citizen, the prince. Of course, for the less well-off citizens of this Mediterranean playland, there are slightly smaller yachts. And for a change of pace when you're tired of yachting, there's the beach. And, uh, uh... The most imposing structure in Monaco is the Prince's Palace. It dominates this tiny principality. The Eiffel Tower dominates Paris, the city of excitement and fun. The triumphal arc of the carousel, built in 1806, celebrates the Battle of Austerlitz. Perhaps no institution is so much a part of daily Parisian life as the Sidewalk Cafe. The Cafe de la Paix, located in the city's most fashionable area. It is commonly said that if you sit here long enough, you will meet everyone you know in Paris. But did we say fashionable, madame? What woman the world over wouldn't give her eye teeth to possess a Parisian wardrobe?
only 4,500 francs, $900 American. Paris is known for its beautiful gardens and parks. Always a convenient spot for those in love or for those who simply want to rest. For the visitor to the city, an unusual sight is the many ways the French manage to get their bread home. Typically French, and as old as Notre Dame itself. High on anyone's list of Parisian pleasures is French cuisine. This famous restaurant has only been in the eating business since 1542. It's called the Tour d'Argent, which means Tower of Silver. No wonder. Lunch begins at $9 a helping. At night, Paris becomes a playland catering to any mood. One of the most famous night spots is the Moulin Rouge. On the quieter side, there is the Maison Oubliette, or Caves of the Forgotten Ones. Here, French singers specialize in 12th century songs in the best tradition of the ancient troubadours. a sentimental city about which men have written more poems, more songs, more everything than any other city in the world. 